What's up? This is Dave Bush on Day 56, and the song of the day is New Thing Coming by Elevation Worship. And today, I got a great message for you guys. It's called Endure and Not Be Tempted. And with that being said, I'm going to be coming from James chapter 1, verse 2 through 15. So I hope you're already digging this word. Wait. Before we start digging this word, I got three things I want y'all to really think about. And well, three words I want y'all to think about before we really dig in this word. First word, endurance. Means power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving way. Giving way can mean yield, give up, or withdraw. Another word, double-minded, undecided, unsure, or uncertain. And double-minded really just means doubt. So really don't think about double-minded. Think of think of double-minded and doubt. Think of both of those words. And tempted. Tempted means urge and attracted to do something. So like t- temptations. Like what are you tempted to do in life? What are you tempted but you don't want to do like stuff think of think of stuff like that and i really want y'all to think about these words because they're very powerful words and i'm gonna be reading them uh and you're gonna be hearing them a lot so just really think about these words and as i'm reading along all right so if y'all ready to dig this word let's get it starting at first james chapter one verse two consider it a great joy my brothers and sisters when you experience various trials. Wait, I already know what you're thinking. Great joy when I'm experiencing my trials. What? Yeah, I just want y'all holding that. I already know y'all thinking about that. I thought about the same exact thing when I first read it. Just hold on to it. I promise you it's gonna get better. Starting in verse three. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let the endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. Whew. Whew. All right, this is where you get good, y'all. Hold up. Having faith during your trial leads to having endurance. Now, I wrote this. I just want to let y'all know I wrote this. And with endurance, we can endure any process or situation without giving way, yield, withdraw, or give up. So we may be mature and complete. Also not having joy in the pain, but joy in God's plan for us in the future. I don't know about y'all, but that's some powerful stuff. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put it right there. I want y'all to read that again. I'm gonna put it right there. Like, oh my gosh. Like, most people don't understand that we're meant to have joy in the midst of our trial. Not joy in the pain, but joy in what God has planned for us. We always get confused of like, how am I supposed to have joy in my trial? You're not, you're supposed to have not, you're not supposed to have joy in your pain. You're supposed to have joy in what God has planned for you. Moving on next, James chapter one, verse five says, now if any of you lack wisdom, he should ask God. Now I'm moving to, now I'm going automatically to verse six. I know verse five is a little bit more, but I'm going to verse six real quick. Just just stay with me. But let him ask in faith without doubting. Now we're going to verse seven. That person should not expect, should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Being double-minded and unstable in all his ways. Now, just want y'all to know, I will be skipping through a lot of verses because I, I was do, I was studying. When I study and I'm making videos, I really feel like I pick what's God touching my heart. But anyway, obviously, you know, I wrote something down for this too, and it really is it's, it's pretty good, y'all. Today, I, it was really good. Um, in the midst of our trials, we may start to doubt and become double-minded, being unsure, undecided, or uncertain of what God has planned for us. And yet, hold up, before I keep reading, you may be thinking, oh, he just rewriting and reading. Oh, just wait. If we start to have fear of failing the test, we must pray and ask God for wisdom. 
Because praying is asking out of faith. Because praying is asking out of faith. Read that again. Yeah, okay. And if we keep doubting, we won't be able to trust in God with our whole heart. I know for me, I used to doubt a lot. I would say I used to doubt a lot in would I make it through my trials? And I, that means I wasn't trusting God with my whole heart. And I think a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't realize that we're, they're not trusting God with their whole heart if we start to doubt. We may say, oh, I have faith in God. Oh, I'm praying. But if you're starting to doubt, that means you're not having whole faith in God. That's why it's so it's so important to keep praying because praying is asking out of faith. As long as we keep praying, we have faith. They, they go hand in hand. You can't have faith without praying. You have to pray to, to have that faith. Um, James chapter one, verse 10, and I'm going to verse 11. But let the rich boast in his humiliation because he will pass away like a flower of the field. Going to verse 11, starting with the word it's, its flower falls off and its beautiful appearance perishes in the same way the rich person will wither away while per pursuing his activities. Now, I was going to go back to this. As we are having joy in our trial, people will look at us as poor, foolish, or stupidly. How many times has that happened to y'all? Where y'all are going through y'all trial and you have joy. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happened at your parents' house, bruh. You try to film a video and you just come up in here. No, it doesn't. But as we are having joy in our trials, people will look at us poor, foolish, or stupidly. Now, how many times have y'all just been going through y'all trial and y'all have joy, but everybody looks at y'all like y'all crazy because they think y'all supposed to be sad? I know for me, my grandma, she was going through her trial and everybody was like, are you okay? Like, are you not upset? Are you not angry? She was like, no, because she still had joy and she believed that God was going to make a way. So we can't worry about what people are going to say when we go through our trials. We just got to keep living and keep praying. Going back, but we must let them boast for they will start to fall off and God will see us as rich and true in him. So we need to not focus on what people say for they are prideful and not humble. Oh, that was so good, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, it's so good, bro. Like, like, oh my God, it's like, I, I can't read again. God will see us as rich and true in him. So we need to focus on what, we need to not focus on what people say for they are prideful and not humble, bro. Like, oh my gosh, that's so powerful. Moving to James chapter one, verse 12. It says, this honesty, I, if I could choose any scripture from this whole thing that really just touched me, this one right here definitely really spoke to me. Blessed is the one who endures trials because when he has stood to the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Such a powerful verse, y'all. Go automatically to verse 14, and it says, But each person is tempted when he is drawn away and, and enticed by his own evil desires. Then, after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And when sin is fully grown, it gives birth to death. 
I'm automatically just going to go to what I wrote down. If we continue to endure our trials and stand the test, God will bless us. However, we will we are all tempted to our own desires, own desires. We all have our own desires. And only we know, only we can know what they are. Which leads to sin, which leads to death. Not everyone is genuine during their tests. Those who fail or give in will blame God when the real cause is not God, but our fleshly desires. As people, we tend to blame God so quick when we get angry, upset, and life ain't going our way. We tend to easily just blame God for our trials. When in actuality, it's our flesh that is the reason why it put us in there in the first place. Now, God, he's going to work. Now, it may not seem like he's working, but like I said in my last video, we must have blind faith. Just like I said in that treadmill, it's like you hold on to a trip. Like, think about you holding on to a treadmill. You close your eyes and you, you're gripping onto that thing. But as soon as you let go, you're afraid. And now you have nothing to hold on to. So you're thinking like, oh, I'm going to fall. But when you're walking with God, let's say you're holding on. It's all easy. You're going in a straight path. It's all good. You're used to it. But as soon as you let go and it's something different, you get nervous. You get scared. You start to doubt. You start to be tempted to do other things. You start to not be able to endure. So it's so important that we have faith and understand that God isn't the reason or the real cause. It's us. That's basically it. Hold on. Hold on. Before we end today's video, um, I have three questions. What are you doing to keep enduring? So, what are you doing? Are you praying more? Are you reading your Bible? Are you staying close with people that support you? Um, are you staying close with God? Are you staying close with your family? What are you doing to stay endured in your trial? What are you doubting about? So, what are you doubting about? Do you feel like you can't succeed? Do you feel you can't do enough? You feel like you aren't enough? But I promise you, this shirt says otherwise, you are enough. Um, do you feel like you don't have nobody to count on? What are you doubting about? And what are you tempted to do in your trials? What is tempting you? Like, a lot of people will say, the flesh, the flesh is tempting. Um, another thing, uh, let's say vaping, let's say drinking, let's say smoking, let's say um, anything that is ungodly. Let's say what is tempting you and pushing you away from God. So I just want y'all to think about those. And honestly, if y'all want, share those in the comments. Y'all ain't gotta share all of them. Honestly, if y'all don't want to share none of them, that's perfectly fine. It's up to y'all. Um, y'all can honestly just reflect or y'all can share them in the comments. But appreciate y'all for the ones who stayed to the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, sub, and follow, and share. But hold up. Got one more announcement. I am changing my name. All right. So people have been saying young Kobe is not the move. I am changing my name to K21. K21. I've been looking it up. Not that many people go by K21, so I think it'll be original, and I think that I could really make a logo out of it, and that's what I'm really doing right now. Um, it's not ready yet. Um, I'll announce it, and I'll post it everywhere once I'm finished. But, yeah, I'm really focused on pushing my channel to the limits. I'll ask y'all to keep praying for it, because honestly, like I said, my biggest goal for this whole channel and everything I'll do for it, make, the, make a big community that prays together and just can count on one another like vision my vision is to have a community that can text in here and just pray together text you going through something you tap in the comments we all pray for you or you looking at somebody to hang out with 
or you looking for somebody to need to talk to, talk to one of us in the, you talk to one somebody in this community. Like, I really want this community to just grow and be as one, like play video games together. Like, I would love to like get a discord and just play video games with no, nothing but all my subscribers. Like, I would love that. Like, all of us just play Warzone. Now, obviously, there will be some limits, like, no, like, no, like, toxicity or, like, stuff like that. But, honestly, it would be so much fun to just, like, grow as people. Because I feel like it's, I feel like we're so, right now in the world, that we're, we're all, everybody just, like pushes away from each other but i feel like this community can really bring people together so that's my goal for the community but make sure y'all like make sure y'all sub make sure y'all just follow and make sure y'all share bro and continue to pray and have peace every day be best